finally found where I belong in your presence, Lord. Woo! Finally found where I belong in your presence, Lord. I found you here. I'm in your presence here. Ah. found where I belong. I finally found where I belong. I finally found where I belong in your presence. I finally found where I belong just to be with you. Be with you. I finally found where I belong. I finally found where I belong in your presence. I finally found where I belong just to be with you. So waits for you alone. Like the watchman waits. 
For the living God has said, I will never leave you. I will never forsake you. For God has said, God has said, I will never leave you. I will never forsake you, says the Lord. God has said. God has said, I will never leave you. I will never abandon or forsake you. God has said, yeah, yeah. Your God has said, I will never leave you. I will never forsake you. Come on, let's get this fully today. Oh, my Lord. We got to get this fully and thoroughly because there's a whole generation or two of a spirit of abandonment. My dad left when I was three. My dad left when I was seven. My mom left when I was 13. Oh, it's a spirit of abandonment. But he said four things. I'll never leave you. I will never forsake you. I will never desert you or abandon you. Get these four now. I'll never leave you. I will never forsake you. I will never desert you, thanks. And I will never abandon you. Four, I'll never leave you. Oh, I will never forsake you. I will never desert you or abandon you. You are mine. You are my son or daughter. You belong to me. The Lord says you belong to me. Did you forget? Did you not know that you belong to me, says Yeshua HaMashiach, you belong to me, and I belong to you, you belong to me, and I belong to you, I belong to Yeshua, and so do you, sons and daughters of the Most High. He said, I'm not leaving you ever. Okay. I'm not ever forsaking you. I'm not deserting you ever. Somebody say hallelujah. Shout it out. I will never, ever, ever, only the living God, only the Lamb of God could say that. No human being could fulfill these four. Only the Lord. Hebrews 13, 5. I will never leave you. I will never forsake you, saith the Lord. Saith the Lord. I will never ever forsake you. I will never ever desert you. Says the Lord, says the Lord, yeah, yeah. Hear it now. I will never leave you. I will never forsake you. Says the Lord. He says Yeshua. Yeah, yeah. And three, I will never desert you. Number four. I will never abandon you because you are mine. You are mine. You are mine. Ah, yeah. Hebrews 13, 5. Keep your lives free from the love of money. Okay. We're going to do that, Lord. See, the love of money, it is the root of all evil. Not, not, not money itself. Money is a vehicle. People misconstrue this, but it says keep your lives free from the love of money. Some people, they love it. They pursue it. It's like unto a God for them. Woo! 
yeah, they can't get enough, or they got to have more. They can't get enough. They got to have more. But he said, keep your lives free from the love of money. Thank you, writer of the book of Hebrews. And be satisfied and content with what you have for here it is. God has said, huh? God has said, I will never leave you, son or daughter. I will never forsake you, daughter. I will never abandon you. Oh, this is pure therapy of heaven today. Stay right here. But let's stay right here in the this spot in the road on the highway of holiness. Here's the New American Standard. Make sure that your character is free from the love of money. Be content with what you have, for he himself, the living God, has said, I will never desert you, nor will I ever abandon you. I, I don't know which is the heaviest word. I will never leave you or forsake you or desert you or abandon you. They're all not good. And the word, I want you to get ready. Let's go over here to this. You're going to love this. Ani ami. In the Greek, the word forsake, leave, or desert, or abandon is ani ami. In the Greek, I will never loose you or let loose of you. Stop right there. <laughs> Thank you for the Greek language. Praise God. Ani Ami, I will never lose you. I won't let loose of you. It's a play on words, but this is the Greek language. Yeah, I will never lose you. I will never let loose of you ever, ever, ever. I will never lose you. Let loose of you, my grip is tight on you. Then it keeps going. I will never let you go. Let's stay there. <laughs> Thanks, Lord. I will never let you go. I promise you, I am King of glory and majesty. I will never, ever let you you sink or fail to uphold you. I'll never let you sink or fail to uphold you. I'll never let you sink or fail to uphold you. For I am God. Yeah. Well, I'm still in the definition of the Greek word Adi Ami. Are you kidding me? No, I'm telling you straight up. This is what the Greek word, I'll never leave you, forsake you, desert you or let you go, it says, I'll not let you sink. That's a bad feeling. We've all known that. A friend bailed on us. A cousin, a relative, a parent bailed on us. We were left sinking in the miry clay. It goes on to say, I'll not fail to uphold you. I'll be upholding you. Until eternity rolls and comes, I'll not let you sink, I'll not let you fail. I'll not let you sink or fail to uphold you. I will keep you in my embrace. Strong's Concordance. So check it. No desertion. In the heart of our God, I will not abandon you. 
And then it says, especially what has already been entrusted to me, says the Lord or what I've already hugged and embraced. This is finishes the definition. You can look at it right in the strong concordance. Let's pray about it. Father, put it deep in our hearts for your glory's sake. Put this word, put this scripture deep in our hearts and it will not escape from my spirit, Lord. High level revelation of this Greek word I want to know and I want to retain it because you will never leave me. You will never desert or forsake or for abandon me, says the Lord. say yes I believe it Lord it's in your word one more time to make sure you got it Ani Ami in the Greek I'll never lose you I'll never let loose of you count on it come on now get out in faith land get out in belief land it says I will never lose L-O-S-E I'll never lose you my hand my grip cannot be taken away I'll never let loose of you I never let you go and let you sink. Man, God. God. Let it sink in now. It's not in my nature to fail to uphold you. My nature is to uphold you forever. No desertion, no abandonment, especially. What has already been entrusted to me, you came to me and gave me your life, our embrace. Holy. Glorify thy name.
and any abusive things, Lord. And healing rain is here right now. Any marks and scars that were left on us, Lord, you're removing them right now. Friends that abandon us, relatives, parents that abandon us, it's changed right now. Yeah. It's changed right now. You erase it all. You bring your healing rain right now. Here we are. Being healed by your heart and head. Yeah. Healing rain. Healing rain is here. You're here. You're healing our spirit, man. You're healing my soul and my heart again. Yeah. forsake you he'll never desert you or abandon that's his promise come on say it out loud that's the Lord's promise to me let's do it three times that's the Lord's promise to me Hebrews 13 5 that's the Lord's promise to me let your character your moral essence, your inner nature. Be free from the love of money, Amplified Bible. Shun greed. Be financially ethical, but being content with what you have. For the verse 5b section, he has said, I will never under any circumstances desert you. Amplified Bible. I will never under any circumstances desert you. You can watch this over and over till you thoroughly know it and believe it. B, nor I will not give you up or leave you without support. Nor will I in any degree leave you helpless. Nor will I forsake you, let you down, or relax my hold on you nor will I forsake you let you down or relax my hold on you assuredly not says the Lord and here we are today in an awesome place with our Savior Yeshua our Messiah hallelujah Glorify thy name, hallelujah. Glorify thy name, hallelujah. I believe, I believe, I believe, I believe. You rain down. Oh. Oh. Did you get it? I'm getting it. I've got a large portion, but I want more. We love you guys. And this, he said, I'll never, ever leave you or forsake you, even until the end of the age over in Matthew, the gospel. God bless you guys. Shalom, shalom, as they say in Yerushalayim. Peace to you, the highest peace of the Lord. Nothing broken, nothing left out. We'll see you real soon. God bless.